we're going to do is take a look at making the cube. So previously we made rows and columns highlighted. Now I want to highlight the cube. So what we're going to do is uh, let's take a look at our Sudoku board. And in our Sudoku board, um, we have uh, 81 squares. So I've named them all right now uh, for purposes of demonstrating. And I want to have it so if I click a cell, say 36, uh, it'll highlight the rows, the column, and the cube. I'll highlight 41 and you'll see again uh, the rows, column, and cube. But notice the item I selected was 41, but I wanted to make 31 is a very important number because it's the beginning of the cube, and I know that it's the next three rows. So how can I find what this value is so I know what to highlight? Well, let's take a look first at this drawing here. So what we want to do is we want to break our Sudoku boards into columns. And so if I add a column uh, such as column one here, and if I add that to the row, I'll get the cell I'm in. So one, then two, then three, then four, etc., cetera, uh, with zero. If I want to add it to one, it's one times nine. Uh, and then that would be uh, column one would be 10 and 11 would be 12 and so forth. Uh, so let me undo those. Uh, so how are we going to get 31? Well, what we're going to need to do first is if we selected 41, we have selected column number 5. So we know column 5 is selected. And I also want to determine that I've selected a row 4. So those are going to be important because we're going to come up with a formula. And if you look on the right-hand side here, you can see the formula, but not uh, rush too much. Let's get taking a look at how we might code something like this. So again, we take a look. We've selected cell 41, and I want to get to cell 31. So how are we going to do that? Well, uh, so I'm going to say the row number, so let's start with the row, is equal to selected cell, and then this is integer division. Backslash division means integer division. And so, for example, uh, if I did 41 divided by 9, um, the answer is 4.5555. So by doing integer division, uh, row number will not be 4.555. Rather, it just takes the first digit, which is 4. So row number would be 4. It would not be 4.555. Integer division gets rid of the rest. Okay, so if I've got row four, how do I get that to saying that row three is the starting point? And you could say, well, I'll just subtract one, but that wouldn't work for all cases. And so what we're gonna do for the next step is we're next gonna take our row number and we're gonna say it equals whatever row number uh, we chose, but now we're gonna divide it uh, by three. And so by dividing it by three, if I had four, I'll pull my calculator up, uh, four divided by three is gonna equal not 1.33, but integer division would be just one. So that would equal just one. Um, and to get three, what I would need to do is take the integer division which is row number divided by three. And I would need to multiply that by three. And now I've got my value of three. Let's test another value to see if it would also give three. Uh, how about cell 49, for example? So again, if it was 49, it would be 49 divided by nine. So that would be five. And then it'll be five divided by three, uh, which again is also equal to one. And you'll find that that would work for all of the values. So I think we now have found a way to find out the row number we're on. I would next want to do the column. And to find out what the column is, what we're going to do um, is, so we know the row number. Let's find the column number next. I'll call it call number because uh, I want to be quick here. Um, it would be the selected cell. And instead of division by 9, we use something called mod. And if I do mod 9, what that tells me is the remainder. 
So example in 41, if I uh, mod it by 9, 41 divided by 9 um, would be 5 because 40, 9 times uh, 4 is 36 and 41 minus 36 has a remainder of 5. So that would give us 5. Okay, is when we're in the ninth row, um, the problem is 9 integer divided by, or sorry, 9 mod 9 has no remainder, and so it equals 0. And 0 would be, I guess, this row, which doesn't exist, or it would be kind of a funny row. So one of the things I forgot to mention is what we're going to need to do is column number is the selected cell uh, divided by 9, uh, sorry, mod 9, which tells us how many is the remainder. But if we get a value of zero, then what we're gonna do is, let's just move it into column eight, for example. So we're just gonna say, no, no, it's not column nine, it's column eight, because column eight, of course, if you look at the program, would be exactly the same as column nine. Um, it's gonna have the same um, cube as column nine. So just like column 63 would have this cube here, uh, column 36 or 45 or 54 is going to have this cube, 9, 18, and 27. So by putting in a statement that says if call number is 0, rather the selected cell mod 9 is 0, uh, then I'm going to set the call number to be 8, so it chooses the 8th cell when it looks at is there a match in um, the cube. Uh, therefore, how do we um, get it to being the column we want, which you can see from the picture here, is column 4. I want to know, uh, I want to get 5 into this column. So we've got 41, um, and it's going to give us uh, 5, and I just want to get it to 4. Well, we're going to use the same technique. We're going to um, take the column number, and we're going to... Uh, say that it's equal to the column number and again we're going to divide it by 3 and then we're going to multiply it by 3 and so that would uh, give us a value of so call number divided by 3 would give us a value of 1 multiplying it would give us 3 but you'll notice I want 4 and the reason is if we look here we don't start counting at 0 when we add the column numbers we start counting at 1 so I'm also going to need to add 1 to it and that now should work for all columns so I know now to get the appropriate column uh, which in this case would be column 4 I'm going to take the selected cell I'm going to uh, mod it by 9 and then I'm going to take that value and integer divided by 3 and then multiply it by 3 and that will give us a 1, a 3, or a, a 6. And then we add 1 and that gives us the 1, 4, and 7, which are the values I'm looking for for the row and column. Okay, now that we've got that part far, how do we um, determine what this value of 31 is really the value I wanted to get to? So knowing that I've got column 4, and knowing that I've got row value of 3, how do I get there? Well, the formula is right on your screen here. It's row times 9 plus column. So, for example, if we uh, broke it down to the beginning uh, row being 3, it's 3 times 9, which is 27, plus, um, in this case, 4, because our column is uh, 4. So we add the row, we add the column, 1, 4, or 7, and we add the row, 3, we multiply by 9 plus 4, 31, and there's our magic number. So 31 is our magic number. Great. Now what I want to do is I want to go through here and I want my program to uh, do a loop um, from this magic formula, row times 9 plus column, and loop th uh, three times to be 31, and then I want it to do 32, and then I want it to do 33. So I want it to go from 31 to 33. How can I do that? Well, a for and next loop is fairly easy. Um, let's create a variable called start index, and it would equal our row number um, multiplied by 9. And in VB, I'm going to need to use the asterisk. 
and I'll put some brackets here just to make it uh, look more obvious. And then I want to add to it our column number. And there's our start index. Our end index is going to equal our um, start index, in this case 31, and then uh, do two more. So we do 32 and then finally do 33. And so here we could easily do our loop and our loop would say for uh, row loop um, equals start index to end index. Um, and then I would say that my uh, Sudoku cell or whatever your array is, um, I'll call it uh, Sudoku array, um, I can then say great and let's make it um, the back color if I'm just uh, shading colors but I would be searching for text or doing all sorts of different things and it's equal color uh, purple. And then I do next. Great, so now I've got one row. It's gonna work for uh, row 31. So how do I get it to also do, instead of three times, uh, I wanna do it the row number plus one and then row number plus two. I wanna do it um, for row four and then row plus two. Um, row five, same thing. So to do that, the best technique is using a loop, uh, sorry, a for next loop inside of a for next loop. And so our code would look something like this. And by the way, I'm not giving you all the code. Uh, some of this will, may need to be slightly modified. But what I would do is I'd say for column loop uh, equals um, uh, zero to two, because um, we're gonna start with adding zero to our row number, then adding one to our row number, then adding uh, two to our row number. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say, um, that's what our start index equals. And then uh, we're gonna say um, start index equals whatever our start index was plus nine times our for call loop. And so as our loop starts going here, my code would, I like to indent uh, as I do my coding. So my call loop would start at uh, 31 and the next time it would be start index plus nine times, uh, I'll put brackets, you wouldn't need to, it doesn't make any difference. So our loop is uh, gonna be zero, so start index plus zero, that's great, 31. Then it's gonna be start index plus nine times call loop, that's gonna be one, so 31 plus nine is 40. And then finally, our call loop is gonna be 31 plus 18, which would be 49, and it would work perfectly. And so it's gonna do this loop, and then inside this loop, um, we're going to do the three, as we go across, and so the first time it's gonna do 31, 32, 33, uh, we go next, and then our loop is going to go back up to the top, uh, to the for statement, and we're going to end up being, um, uh, call loop will be one, and then we will do uh, 40, 41, and 42 in this loop right here, and then finally we're gonna do um, next, we'll go back up to here and we'll do 49, 50, and 51. And there you have it. And so we can do all sorts of things as we go through here. So you'll see I just uh, did this, but I might even have in some point here, I might even um, do some sort of check. I might say if, uh, you know, Sudoku um, uh, uh, value maybe, um, equals the arrays value. And so forth. You might do